is Amanda Pineal Painting, Sarasota, Florida, and I'm doing a video today just to show you how I hang my cabinet doors for spray. So what you're going to need is you're going to need some cup hooks, one inch cup hooks, um, which you're going to use to install into the door. You need a drill gun, a corresponding drill bit, and your cabinet doors. So before you do your hooks, you have to be aware when you're doing the, the when you're uninstalling the cabinets, when you're taking a, them apart to, to take back to the shop, because you want to keep track of which is the upside and which is the downside of the cabinet. So what I do is in, in the circular hole where the, where the hinges go, we put an arrow, an up arrow. That's going to tell me that this cabinet door is facing up. Now you must take a blue, a piece of blue painter's tape and just go ahead and cover that. Cover your markings. That way when you spray this door, you're not covering your, re your, your reference so that you know later on where this is going to go. So another thing to keep in mind is that you need to know if this is a bottom cabinet which is going to go below the countertops or if this is a top cabinet. On this particular job I didn't label that in the holes because I don't have any top top cabinets on this one. If I did I would have put top or bottom in, in where I labeled the, the up or down. So now that you know if this is going to be a bottom cabinet or an upper cabinet you will be able to have a better reference for where you want to put your, your hooks. Because you have to think if um, this is a top cabinet up above the counters, you don't want to put your hooks on the bottom down here because then when you go to reinstall your cabinets, you're going to have the, the holes are going to be exposed. So what you want to do is once you, once you find your point of reference is this is the, the top of the cabinet, now, if this is going to be an upper cabinet, then I want to go ahead and drill, put my holes in the top so that once this goes back up and I reinstall this cabinet, nobody ever, ever is going to see the holes. So if this is a bottom, if this is a bottom cabinet door that goes below the countertops, then obviously you want to flip it over and you want to install your hooks on the bottom sides of the cabinet doors. That way when, you know, just like the top, you install them, your holes will be on the bottom and when they open and close, nobody will ever even know that they're there. Now if you ever do have somebody that says, oh, you know, I got holes in my cabinet doors now, um, it's a very simple, easy fix. You just give it a light sand to knock the edges down, just a little bit of filling and a little touch up. That's all you need. So now that I know that this is a bottom cabinet and I have my arrow here is pointing up, so this is the top of my bottom cabinet. So I will flip this over and I will install my hooks on the bottom side of the cabinet door. And these are shaker doors. These are very popular right now. A lot of people are doing them. They're a really nice look. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my, my drill gun and my drill bit and I usually go about two inches or three inches from the outer edge of the cabinet door and I go ahead and put a hole. Now you don't need to go too deep in, you just need to go just deep enough so that your hook can sit in there. And I don't even, I don't even put my hooks all the way inside. So I have one, so I have one hole drilled and I'm going to drill the other side. And this ensures that even, even, that it's even when it's hanging. Um, because when you hang them and you spray them, you want them, to, when you hang them on the hanger, you want them to be like an even di distance apart so they don't slide back and forth on the hangers. 
So once I install these cup hooks, one inch cup hooks, I'll just go ahead and show you my hangers and I'll show you how it works. So these are pretty much just your typical, they're called suit hangers and you can order them anywhere really online. Um, or any hardware store might have them. Check with your local hardware store first, first and then just, I had to order them. So they're not too expensive, you can buy a box of them. And what I noticed over time using these is that the, they're, they're sort of weak on the end, so I had to reinforce the, the sides. And then um, they're swivel so that you can spray both sides of the doors at once. So what I do is, and I just install the door to the hanger and then you have your hanger, okay? So now, after I've used this a few times, I notice that the hanger, the hanger hook gets weak and compromised over time, okay? So all I did, I just took some Gorilla Tape and I just reinforced them. Um, and so basically what's gonna happen is this hanger isn't gonna swivel anymore but the, the eye hook that I install onto my spray stand is going to swivel. So that will uh, eliminate the problem of the weak um, hook on the hanger because the last thing you want to happen when you've got your doors hanging and you're spraying them is to have them fall down. You, know? um, you don't want your cabinet doors to hit the ground. So this is just how I do it. This is how I started it out. Um, you can buy professional systems to do this type of stuff, but it can be pretty costly. And I just figured I would, you know, make them myself, which has worked out really well. I also have racks um, that I use. I bought two of these. This is about $80 and it's a chrome, like a luggage rack. Um, and this is, these, I have two of these and I use these once I spray the cabinet doors in the booth. I walk them out and I hang them on here. So then they all hang and dry. So that's, that's, that's part of the system, the way I do it. And I'm going to try to post a couple more videos on how I do my hanging system. I, I want to post a video on my booth, how I do my booth. Um, and how I actually spray the doors with them spinning. So look for those in the future when I have a little bit more time. I'll get those together for you guys. And this is just raw, unedited footage. Uh, I don't really have a lot of time to do a lot of editing on the computer. So I just hope these tips are helpful for you guys. And take all my tips and use them if it helps you. Thank you so much.